A burglar breaks into your home by just kicking down the door. So one Johnson County city decided to fight crime with construction. And I walked in the house and there was a couple of uh, closet doors open. All of these drawers were pulled out and, you know, clothes all over the place. That's when it hits you. That's when you say, somebody broke into my house. Troy is one of Overland Park's latest burglary victims. Someone kicked in his basement door while he and his girlfriend were at work. The door was laying right here. Because of an Overland Park ordinance, his new door must be better. When I contacted a construction company to replace my door, they were talking about the ordinance and how uh, they have to put in the reinforced uh, deadbolts and reinforced hinges. Welcome to the barn, where construction materials are tested to meet Overland Park's residential security ordinance passed 10 years ago. See, this came as a result of some home invasions that we had in the summer of 1996, where we had a perpetrator hitting a particular neighborhood and where he committed four sexual assaults. Contractors must install reinforced locks and hinges for exterior doors on all new homes or any new exterior doors for older homes. This would be like what we would do on an existing door. Normally. David Allen works with police to help develop the materials that meet increased standards, like steel and door frames, improved deadbolts, and stronger hinges. We mortise a strike plate that we designed, this L-shaped strike plate, into the frame. No, neither this thing's getting heavier, I'm getting older. <laughs> Ron Olberding is the president of Edward Wayne Industries. He, along with David, put products through rigorous tests in the barn. I'd say probably over the past 10 years, we've probably destroyed about 200 separate door units, side-lighted door units, single door units, uh, doesn't matter. We've, we've tested just about everything out there. I actually calculate that where my thumb is. To make sure they measure up, a 200-pound ram is often used to test doors. Some hold up better than others. You can see what happened with this deadbolt. On impact, this part of the deadbolt fell out of the, the uh, catch mechanism. Police say anything uh, that adds more time for a burglar could prevent a break-in. What we find is that the more difficult we make it to get in, the less likely it is that they're going to hit the residence and get in to be successful. Uh, they took most, mostly small electronic items, uh, digital cameras, DVDs. Uh, jewelry. Like most Overland Park residents, Troy didn't know about the ordinance. Since he lives in an older home, it did not even exist when his house was built. But now he's replacing all his doors. I think it's great. I mean, if you can keep people out with the physical security. The ordinance only requires reinforced door materials and can add on average $200 to $500 per door. While some residents may balk at the cost, burglary victims looking to regain their security. You don't know if it was somebody that knew us, somebody in the neighborhood. You don't know if it was totally random. Think the stronger doors are the key. Overland Park police say break-ins per capita have dropped the last decade. Other cities like Lenexa, Shawnee, Olathe, and even Oak Grove, Missouri have passed similar ordinances. Leewood is now looking at the idea. Mike Maruzars, NBC Action News.